Welcome to another edition of MyLatinoNews.com. I'm Hernan Molina. In the wake of yet another scandal for the Bush administration, all of us in America can't help but wonder what other facts are hidden from public view under the rags of this White House. This is the same White House that, when confronted with disaster, was found unprepared and unresolved. Katrina is probably the worst example of the terrible combination that ineptitude, half-truth and arrogance can make. This is also the same administration that chose to play politics with the careers of six U.S. attorneys just because they prosecuted corrupted legislators and a very influential lobbyist who thought himself as untouchable due to his very fluid connections with senior Bush staffers. The American citizenry are told that incriminating emails containing detailed machinations of how and when these U.S. attorneys would be fired are lost. Can we believe one more word from this White House? Can anyone in their right mind believe in this information age that emails could just evaporate? The answer is obviously not. Servers at the White House and anywhere else back up information periodically, and these backups could be as damaging as the tapes that led to Nixon's ouster. Fortunately, the American people elected a new Congress and gave a majority to the opposition. Democrats now have powers that include subpoena issuing authority and could force White House staffers to the witness stand. During these public hearings, we could finally hear the true reasons behind these dismissals. You and I have not heard the last word on Attorney General Alberto Gonzalez's performance. Mr. Gonzalez is believed by many to have played a pivotal role on the dismissal of these U.S. attorneys, and it's very likely that he will be asked to provide facts under oath and push him closer to the edge. Fortunately, America has one of the strongest and most reputable justice systems in the world, and its 200 plus years of independent judicial process might show us that light and justice could be at the end of this long tunnel. For MyLatinoNews.com, I'm Hernan Molina.